Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. In uh, our last video, we were discussing about uh, volatility. So I thought to have a small video today about a spread because a spread is uh, deeply connected to volatility. So let's see what is a spread. Spread uh, is the difference in price between buy and sell. So when I have a euro dollar at 116.90 and a sell at 160.91, the spread is one pip. Spread is the markup. The markup that the broker and the bank are putting on the transaction, okay? It's like a, a handicap in your golf club. You, when you are a player with a higher handicap, it means that you are in a disadvantaged position. When uh, the spread is low, it means that you're in a better position, okay? So, another example, uh, if you're starting a 100 meter running, uh, the spread is the number of negative meters uh, that you are starting from your block. So, three spread means that you will run uh, not 100 meter, but 103 meters, because we are starting uh, three meters earlier. 20 will mean 120 meters, okay? So spread is the commission that we are paying to the bank, actually. Again, the lowest, the better. You will see that someone is offering on the market a fixed spread, and someone else a variable spread. Well, spread is linked to volatility. So uh, normally it's variable. If someone is offering a fixed spread, it means that it's a high one because it has to cover the expenses for a high volatility. So remember always the example when we are selling apples in the market. If I have a queue of people that is in front of my shop and all of them, they want to buy apples and on the back door, I have my apple supplier, I will buy low, I will sell high and they will have a higher margin. If no one is coming, so there is no volatility, I will low also my commission. I will low my price, I will low everything. Spread is linked to volatility. So the first conclusion is in your terminal that we will start to work very quickly, you have to check always your spread. There is a button on the windows on the, on the terminal that is called market watch and the market watch will open this window with all your currency pairs, the price for a bid and ask, so buy and sell, and the difference that is the spread. As you can see, and you will see this number continuously are modifying, of course, okay? You will see that some number are very low, the green ones, some numbers are high. So if you have to choose between one opening or another opening, between, for example, Euro Japan and Euro New Zealand or Euro dollar, it's better to consider the spread, you know? And mainly if you are scalping. If you are scalping, you must work with a low spread. Just to have a full, a full picture. Why? Because when we are scalping, we are trying to have a very small profit in terms of pips. So it will be a 10 meters run, a 50 meters run. Okay, so if I want to run for 50 meters and uh, I'm starting from minus T, minus 10, minus 20, uh, minus 200, like in uh, Down Jones uh, here on the, on the bottom, or uh, minus 40, like in uh, uh, US 500, the standard inputs 500, well, it's, it's different. Because the first uh, four, two, 20 points that you are achieving is just to pay the bank. From that moment to the top uh, is your profit. But in the meantime, price can change. Second conclusion, if you're working with high time frame, as we always suggest, uh, you don't care about spread. If you are running at 100 meters, 20 meters spread is a lot. If you're running New York Marathon, you don't care. 
Okay, so uh, technically this point uh, is uh, almost exclusively for scalping uh, and a very short time position. So conclusion, uh, avoid bad times. Remember that in any contract, uh, we have a rollover time. Like for example here, this is the NASDAQ. NASDAQ has a rollover between uh, five minutes to 11 p.m. to 11 and 10 p.m. Okay, so there are 15 minutes, what they call a coffee break. In this moment, uh, all the servers are working together to determine the volatility, the swap, uh, they are changing money. There is a, an incredible high volatility in those 15 minutes. But spread uh, is spiking. So avoid uh, this period. And another period to avoid is the so-called red flag at economic news. I will, I will tell you on which side, for example. Here I have uh, at 1.30 p.m. I have uh, Canada and United States are uh, making some very important economic news. Uh, so important that it would change the economy, maybe. So to open a position uh, at 1.30 p.m. by chance, uh, maybe may have a very negative impact, okay? This is an example of economic calendar that you can find, for example, in this website. But uh, if you Google uh, economic calendar, uh, you will find the tons of uh, websites. Thank you. I hope you appreciated this uh, short video. And remember that volatility is always connected to spread and vice versa. Thank you.